Now, as young people who are ready to take over the world, let me tell you what business is because this is the entrepreneurship hub. I want to explain what business is from get go. Whether you are starting now or you have started before, once you understand the foundation of business, you will know how to behave. The definition of business is business is war and treat it as such. Business is war. Treat it as such. You don't sit down and assume that, okay, you are wearing a fine shirt. My suit is my weapon. My haircut is my weapon. My perfume is my weapon. The shining of my shoes is my weapon because I need to look like somebody who is ready to take over my market. Am I communicating? If you look at the Ghanaian military system, you see that they take time to discipline these soldiers. They train them hard. Day and night, they wake up. All that they are doing in this training is to build their confidence. Once they build their confidence, the exercise build confidence and that confidence is what helps them to have belief. When a Ghanaian military person goes through the training, he's ready to go to war against anything. Nothing intimidates him, nothing shakes him. If you are going to succeed on this end, you need to build your confidence. Once you build your confidence, you are able to take over the market. Be fruitful, multiply, replenish and subdue. Build this whole earth. So I began to study this a little bit, understanding business and structure from the Bible. Now, in the beginning, there was a problem with the whole earth, and then the earth was scattered full of all these attacks. Now, this is the shape of the earth without water. This is what it looks like. So the earth was without form and void, but God began to create all this water, create every single thing, then put a garden of Eden, and then there were four rivers flowing. So I stopped there to think that it took four rivers to water the garden of Eden. When I looked at it, that for God to water a garden, it took four rivers. That means the minimum number of businesses I, Obon King, should have is four, minimum. If you're a businessman or somebody that wants to do business, you want to be rich, you need a minimum of four sources of, of business. If you have anything less than poor, uh, four, then you're a poor man. Create multiple streams of businesses. Create multiple. Ali Dangote, the richest man in Africa, has 69. Dangote truck, Dangote sugar, Dangote salt, Dangote this, Dangote this. What do you create? You say you only have one source of income. No, 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 no. Wake up and create more. Create more. There is no rich man alive that has only one source of income. It is an offense under heaven, under earth here, for you to have one source of income. If you sell shoes, sell dresses, if you sell, create a structure, a laundry, if you create a laundry, say you can collect, um, take care of cars, if you can take care of, can take care of estate, you can even do the landscaping, create multiple sources of income. My brother said, so one drives, another one is giving you income. So God said, let's make man in our image, after our likeness. My brother, this is my best scripture. So when God said he created me in his image, I began to look that if anybody is looking for God, they should just look at me. Because I dress like God. Mm. I check my shoe, it's shiny, yes, that's how God's shoes will be shiny. Uh, say I hear you. Uh -huh. I even cut my hair in case the way God will cut. Uh, something like that. The kind of perfume that God will use is the kind I'm using. You know, I'm not going to use uh, shell talks on my body. I use something that will attract. Our God is a... God cannot create this beautiful earth and then have you ugly. There's an error somewhere. There's an error somewhere. So if I'm supposed to look like God, one day I ask myself, in case God calls me, I say, then send a car or come and pick me up at the airport by 11.30 in the night. I'm, I'm waiting for a call like that. So I had to prepare myself. I will not carry a Skoda, a Jalopi or a, a Keke to go and pick God. I said, that was what made me buy a Range Rover Vogue, that Range Rover Vogue, in case God calls me. I did not buy the car because I had money. I bought the car because of revelation. Because once I enter that car and start the car, I hear God say, my soul, I say, speak for your servant hear it. <laughs> because there are places you sleep, houses and, and environments, you know that God is there. Not the one that you wake up and you are fighting in the night, mosquitoes biting you, God is not there. I'm telling you. I will touch some buttons here. I will touch it. So I'm supposed to look like God. And he said, I was created in his likeness. That is to behave like God. So if there's a problem, how will God deal with the situation? That was what touched me. Stay with me. Whatever your faith is, 
we have the same foundation. Yes. You are supposed to look like God and behave like God. So if we are supposed to look like God and behave like God, please somebody should show me anywhere where they are saying that God was working for Ghana Inland Revenue Services. God was not an employee. God was a creator. I don't know who you represent being an employee. Stay with me. There is a part of your life that you can work for somebody. Because the Bible says, study to show yourself. There is a part of your life you need to show the world. You were created as an example. God knew there was a problem in Ghana and packaged you to come and solve the problem 30 years from now. So prepare yourself to take over Ghana. You were, you are an agent on assignment. Did I say agent? Did I? Yes, I said agent. I said agent. How many of you know this man? Yes, Daniel Craig. This is one of my best films, Daniel Craig, uh, James Bond. James Bond, uh, you know, anytime I see James Bond, I look at that man again. Uh, James Bond, if you look at this man, if he comes here, the man looks like a businessman. He looks like somebody that, you know, is into real estate or is a banker. His swagger is too much. His suit is Pancaldi and B. His suit, shoes are Hugo Boss. Uh, his, his socks are not strong. His shirts are by T.M. Lewin. Uh, his tie is Versace. His glasses are red, but his perfume are, are, are Moage, limited edition. That is what this man looks like. He doesn't look like a security officer. I dare you, but this man is dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Stay with me. He doesn't come out aggressive. He comes out looking clean. Somebody that is an intelligence officer, MI6, sent out to foreign nations to solve problems there. He's not local. You were brought from God down here to solve problems. Because you are not permanently going to stay here, you are here to solve a problem. He had equipped you with everything you need. Too much sauce, too much sugar, too much swagger. Yeah, you were created like that to come and take over. He's a, he's a commander, so he prepared himself. He has special weapons that are attached to him. He doesn't use all the cherry can be all these necessary things that are up and down. He has specialist weapons, and he's on a mission outside. Fine boy, no pimples without dimples. Too much sauce, handsome, tall, dark, handsome. You know, more his master card is talking. He's, everything is on point. Code name 007, and his license to kill. That's the kind of person our God prepared you for you came out as an agent came out to take over this town came out to prepare yourself so everything you are going through is training for what you are supposed to do i did not come out like this i came out you know beating battered but i refused to die act or no they die for fear act or no they die for fear act or no they die for fear act or no they die. so god packaged a meeting in heaven and then in that meeting, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Whenever you hear the Father, it's always leadership. The Son is authority, and the Holy Ghost is power. So three of them put equity, and then they put inside you. So when you came out, you came out from heaven with special weapons on leadership, authority, and power. My brother, that is your package. That is your package. And when I came out, when you came out like that with me, you came out with full leadership potential. You came out with full authority potential. You came out with full power potential. Nothing can intimidate you. Nothing. It is you that will decide what you allow and what you go for. It. I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be a second class citizen. I refuse to stay under. I refuse to be intimidated. It is what you agree you have. What you agree you have. Anybody that laughed at you, the person laughed too soon. Uh, Tell your neighbor that be better be my friend now because tomorrow is coming. Uh, if the person has an attitude, tell him again you had better be my friend now. Uh, okay.